Hello, and welcome to Mute Gamer Zone. I don't have an intro, so let's just start. Crab Game is a colorful and wild multiplayer game based on the hit Netflix show Squid Game. You play in first-person view and go through lots of mini-games, each with different rules. They're like kids' games, but dangerous. The aim is to be the last player alive and win the money prize. But watch out, it's risky, and you need skill and smarts to win. In Crab Game, you play many rounds, each with its own mini-game. These games can be easy like tag or hard, like obstacle courses. You have to beat other players to win. Up to 35 people can play at once, so it's crazy and full of surprises. In Crab Game, fighting is quick and tough. You can use different weapons, like bats and guns. The fights are funny and exaggerated, with lots of blood and gore for laughs. In Crab Game, thinking ahead is super important. You have to decide if you'll work with others or go solo. Making friends can help, but remember, only one person can win, so trust is hard to come by. Crab Game shows that simple ideas done right can be amazing. It's easy to start playing, but tooth to become really good at it. If you like multiplayer games with a fun twist, you'll love it. Heroes Land is a big online multiplayer PvP survival game that's grabbed players' attention with its tough gameplay and cool fantasy world. It mixes open-world exploring with roguelike stuff, so you can keep playing and using strategy over and over again. In Heroes Land, you step into a huge fantasy world full of different places like forests and dungeons. Lots of creatures live here, from small ones to big bosses, and each one is tough to beat. As you explore, you need to collect stuff, make gear, and build safe places to stay alive. Surviving is key in Heroes Land. It's different from most games because if you die, you lose everything. So players have to be super careful, making every move count. This this adds a lot of excitement and makes players think hard about what they do. Heroes Land has lots of different heroes to pick from. Each hero has its own special abilities and way of playing. You can choose from strong fighters, sneaky thieves, magic users, and healers. And as you keep playing, you can unlock even more unique heroes, like tree people and witches, giving you even more ways to play. You can play alone or team up with friends. When you team up, you can use your hero's powers together to fight stronger monsters and explore harder dungeons. There are also battles against other players, where you can show off your skills in fast-paced fights. Eternal Return is a mix of different game types like MOBA, Battle Royale, and Survival games. In the beginning, players pick from a bunch of different characters, each with their own special abilities and things they're good or bad at. This choice really matters because it decides how you'll play the game. The game happens on Lumia Island, a strange and risky place where players have to battle to survive. The island has lots of different areas, each with its own stuff and places that are important for planning your moves. After landing on the island, players need to collect stuff and make things to stay alive. This means making weapons, finding food, and getting gear to survive. Crafting is super important because having better stuff can really help you beat other players. Fights in Eternal Return are quick and need strategy. You gotta use your character's powers smartly to beat others. You can fight face-to-face -face or set up sneaky traps. In Eternal Return, you gotta take care of your health, stamina, and hunger to survive. You gotta hunt animals or scavenge for food and stay away from other players or fight them off. Palia is a big online game where you can do all sorts of things like crafting, cooking, fishing, and farming. It combines life simulation with adventure in a fantasy world full of mystery and charm. In Palia, you start by making your character. You can pick what your character looks like, choosing hairstyles, outfits, and more to make them special and just like you. After making your character, you get your own piece of land. You can build and decorate your home with lots of different items. Whether you like a small cozy cottage, or a big fancy mansion, Palia lets you make your house just the way you want it. In Palia, there are lots of different places to explore, like flower fields and beaches. As you explore Kilima Valley and Bahari Bay, you can do activities and quests to get resources, learn new things, and discover secrets about the old people who used to live there. A big part of the game is about making things and collecting stuff. You can dig for ores, fish in rivers, catch bugs, and grow crops. As you get better, you'll learn how to make new things, giving you lots of items and tools to use. In Palia, it's fun to play with friends. You can make or join groups, kind of like guilds in other games. Being in a group helps you stay connected with friends, share stuff, and have fun together. The game creators are also planning to add more cool features for groups in future updates. 
Farlight 84 is not like other games where everyone fights until one person wins. It's set in the future, in the year 2084, on a planet called Sack Star. The planet is strange and dangerous, with different places to explore like canyons and old mines. In the game, you can pick different characters with special skills. Some are good at attacking, some are good at defending, some are good at finding things, and some are good at helping others. This way, everyone can play in a way they like. One cool thing about Farlight 84 is how you move around. You can use zip lines to slide quickly across the map and surprise your enemies. There are also special things you can find to help you get stronger and level up faster. The cars in Farlight 84 are not just for driving, they're also weapons. Some can go through water, some can shoot, and all of them can help you win fights. You can team up with your friends and use cars together to be even stronger. If you get knocked out early in the game, you can come back and keep playing. This way, you don't have to stop playing if you lose early on. You can play Farlight 84 on both computers and phones, and you can use the same account on both. This makes it easy to play wherever you are. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found some new games to try out. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.